So Joe, you're driving the RV. It's been a little while, huh? About three days. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He did take it for its first oil change and what's it called? The yellow light. So we're on our way to where? Lake Louisa State Park down near Orlando. It's in Claremont, Florida. Lake Louisa State Park is a great low-cost RV campground near the major attractions in Orlando. The park has several nice lakes for fishing, or you can rent canoes and kayaks. There's also a swimming beach. You can ride horses on 16 miles of trails, hike or bike on 23 miles of trails. Well, we're here at Lake Louisa in Orlando. I guess it's Claremont. It's a real nice campsite. Fire pit, nice big site. I think it said it was good for 55 feet. Regular hookups, no sewer, no cable TV. Towards the end of January and there were mosquitoes here. Locking it up. We brought the car today. We're gonna go have a little adventure. It was our daughter's birthday yesterday, so we're going to go have dinner with her. The Icon Orlando is the tallest observation wheel on the East Coast at 400 feet, second in the U.S. only to the High Roller in Las Vegas, which at 550 feet is currently the tallest in the world. The area has free parking, includes many attractions like the Eye and the Star Flyer, which is 450 feet tall and rotates at up to 45 miles per hour. Good. Are you guys like, excited? Oh my god, we're so we're excited! excited. We're so excited. We're so excited. <laughs> it's slow. Yeah, that was real slow. You guys have a great night, right? Have a great night, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, we're having fun now. Everybody, see so you're wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts. It's so much fun. It's so fun. It's so fun. It's so fun. It's pretty cool. The wind's blowing hard. Yeah, we're gonna go down in here and go swimming in the lily pads. Yeah. Right next to the there is a gator yeah. sign. Just come back up. There's some campsites that have a view of here. They're all pull through ones. There's a canoe rental place right there. Probably not a place I would like in the summertime. Most of the sites are pretty exposed, no shade, and I can just imagine the bugs here. And this is Dixie Lake, right pretty close to the other one. 
So I'm going to call this Sunset Lake because you would have a really nice sunset here. The other one's for sunrises. Not seen this before. We have to open up the gate. I guess that's sort of bear proofing. I don't know that it would keep a raccoon out. Not too bad. And they have recycling. So we just rode around to basically the other side of this lake. We were just at Sunset Lake. You can't see any citrus right now, but they were there. Bald cypress, walking catfish. Facts about gopher tortoise. Pretty strong 15, 20 mile an hour wind. So we're at Lake Louisa. There's a boardwalk, I guess, out to the lake. Huge parking lot. Okay, this is Lake Louisa. You got your alligator sign. Right there, you got your playground. And your swimming beach. Did they bring in beach sand? Rhonda's going in there to pick her an orange. Obviously it was an orange grove at one point. Overgrown with oaks now. I'm sure any of these oranges are gonna be sour, but you never know. The park is part of the Green Swamp of Central Florida, which includes over 500,000 acres and is the headwaters of four major rivers. The first notable European settlers came in 1910. The Hammonds, who built a turpentine still, sawmill, and other related enterprises. In 1943, the Bronson family bought the property and established orange groves and cattle ranching. The state of Florida purchased the land in 1973, and the park opened in 1977. See how windy it is again. We're out on our bikes, and it is windy. Hi, Rhonda. What are you doing? Hi, Joe. Well, I'm laying in my hammock. I'm so excited. This is the first time I've used it. I got it for my retirement two years ago when I retired. Thanks to you, we have our hotspot internet. It's working well, and I'm looking up a library book. So I'm gonna hang out outside. So you got your iPad, got my iPad I got my your Kindle. Kindle Fire, your phone. Got my water. She's all teched out. I love the hammock life. <laughs> Always have. <laughs> hammock life. Hammock life, yeah. Nice hey. cool day out here, a little bit of a breeze, so there's no bugs. Hopefully I'll get a few pictures of some Pretty birds, we'll see. Lake Louisa State Park. And who is Louisa? Well, Louisa was from Sound of Music. That was one of the daughters. That's why I kept thinking of Louisa. Yeah, it's in one of the songs and stuff. I don't think it has anything to do with this park though. It's just a short walk from the campground to watch a beautiful sunset or sunrise. We saw a bunch of deer after dark, which was really cool. We're headed home from uh, Lake Louisa State Park outside of Orlando, Claremont. What'd you think, Rhonda? It was nice. I really enjoyed seeing Rachel and Jonathan. It was very windy here this weekend. So it was kind of uncomfortable outside. Not a lot of wildlife because of the wind. And this morning is very cloudy. Rainy. Rainy. Well, it rained most of the night. Yeah. <clears throat> It's a nice park. I mean, the campsite was gravel. It was very Oh, clean. there's some nice birds there. Oh, yeah. They're out and about. They afraid the wind yesterday and it kept them all away. So, we just stopped at the dump station, hooked up the car. See the video. It's following us. Yeah, that's good. So, that seems to be the way to do it. You go dump at the dump station, then hook up your tow car. Uh -huh. As long as there's not a line behind us. Even if there is, but this park has two dump stations side by side, so somebody could have pulled in going yeah. the other direction. And you can see the gray cloud, looks like it could monsoon any minute. Yeah. So, overall, 
it's okay. Uh, not on my list to come back to. It was very nice to have the gravel uh, pads this morning because of all that rain. There was no mud, so it wasn't clean. Now it's good. I mean, overall, everything was nice. It just, the site we were in, number seven, mm -hmm. was not shaded at all. I think the one next to us was probably a, would have been a better choice. How frustrating are we with Google Maps? You know, we're just frustrated this morning with the rain and the everything. We just both couldn't figure out how to change the route options to avoid tolls because we don't want to take this all this rig on the Florida Turnpike. Anyway, we finally figured it out. Laugh, laugh at us, if you will. We also just bought gas. Here's another little pet peeve. I It stopped at $75. So it was pretty full, it showed full, but it didn't fill it up. And that was just using my credit card. So credit cards, uh, all those savings cards, they all stop you. I want an RV gas card. <laughs> they let you fill it up. Well, Rhonda's squeezing the oranges we picked at Lake Louisa. They smell good and there's a lot of seeds in them, but these are probably pretty old variety of oranges. They're a little bit sour, but less sour than grapefruit, and I love grapefruit. Well, Rhonda just squeezed seven smaller size oranges. I'm going to take mine. Nice and sour. Actually, not super sour. I'm probably gonna mix mine with water. Just nice. below sour. Low sour. But not sweet. Not modern orange juice. No sugar added. Huh? Ooh, no sugar added. <laughs> okay.